Müller Glashütte has a history stretching back into the earlier 20th century, starting off as makers of precise instruments before diversifying into car clocks and eventually watches. In today's collection overview, we focus on four pieces that sum up the car and Müller Glashütte offering well, nautical inspiration with German precision and know-how. We start off with the Teutonia 4 chronograph, a watch that immediately reminds me of marine chronometers of the past with its clear and legible white dial and heat blue lance hands. The 39mm by 14.6mm case is tall, considering its small diameter, but the curving lugs that measure in at 48.8mm hug my 6.1 inch wrist beautifully. A finely brushed mid case flanks the polished bezel and pushes for an overall dressier look. The display case back offers a look into the caliber MU9149, a derivation of the Celita SW500 with Müller's patented woodpecker neck regulator decorated with blue screws and glass to solarization. The 29 appointed date clearly continues the nautical theme. Its very name is based on a sailing boat classification. The combination of blue and white on the dial is broken up by a flash of red on the second's hand, with a date indication housed in the steep rehort. The 42.5mm diameter case is as slab-sided as they get, with a top-heavy profile despite the relatively thin 12.3mm height. The Celita SW221-1 is again modified with a woodpecker neck regulator and has a power reserve of 41 hours. Next up is a classic Müller design, the SAR Rescue Timer, seen here in the Lumen colorway. The odd case shape and rubber bezel are all functional, created in collaboration with the German Maritime Search and Rescue Society. The rounded features of the watch are meant to reduce potential injuries sustained by those being rescued. With impressive features such as a 4mm thick crystal and 1,000 meters of water resistance, it's clear that this was designed to withstand tough conditions. As you may have guessed from the name, the dial is fully loomed, with the black markers contrasting against the glowing backdrop in low light conditions. The Celita SW200-1 is a suitable choice for the rescue timer, as it's easy and relatively inexpensive to service. The Zee Bataillon GMT, that's my best German, takes the rugged aesthetic of the rescue timer and turns it up to the proverbial 11. Created for German naval troops, the 45mm by 53.6mm beast offers 30 atmospheres of water resistance with a titanium construction. The bidirectional titanium bezel has an aluminium insert, but it's quite thin so it can be difficult to grip at times. With a handsome combination of yellow highlights on a navy grain background, the hands of the Zee Bataillon seem to float above the dial, incorporating the GMT feature without sacrificing legibility. Powered by a Celita SW330-1, Müller modified it once again with a patented regulator, blued screws and glass to solarization. Distinguishing between designs that should serve form before function and vice versa is not an easy task though it is one that Müller Glashütte excels at. The overall attention to detail is commendable and certainly on par with the competition. For a full overview of the collection, you can check out our review on the website, and in the meantime, like and subscribe.